Hello everyone, I welcome to all in my YouTube channel info for Tripoli. In today's video, I will demonstrate the experiment from the electronics and communication engineering. And in the last video, I discussed about all the basic information about this project. And you can watch this video if you don't watching this video till now. And uh, you can access this website through the official web link that is the vlab.co.in. And I also provide this web link in the description section. Okay, then you can access uh, this website from the description section. Okay. And now uh, I am clicking on the electronics and communication engineering. When you click on the communication and electronics engineering, here the list of the lab which is comes under this domain are available. So around 12 to 15 labs are uh, developed under the electronics and communication engineering. And you can choose any one lab as per your interest and perform the experiment. So in this video, I will go through the basic electronics lab and I will perform all the experiment from this lab. Okay. So when we click on this uh, basic electronics lab, so here the few information are, are available about this uh, laboratory like introduction. So in this introduction, all the basic detail like uh, the beneficiary detail as well as the, the software detail as well as, as the people details are available, team details are available in this page. So here the some information are available about the beneficiary, who is the beneficiary like teacher, students and the key features of the virtual lab. Okay, and this is a list of the experiments. So in this lab, around 17 experiments are available, and I will demonstrate all the experiment one by one in future video. In today's video, I will focus only one experiment, that is the Ohm's law. Okay, and the uh, remaining experiment I will explain in the future video. Okay, and this is the instructions. So here are the few instructions about your systems, like uh, which type of the browser you have to use, and few information about your internet connections okay and about uh, your browser setting so you can read out these uh, instruction where before performing the experiment you have to set your browser as per the given instructions like the technology used uh, for development these type of the experiment for which is currently accessing accessing by the web pages okay so here we, we have used the javascript and html and please request is not applicable because this is, this is the very basic languages and the starting level languages uh, if you are from the computer science background so you must know about these languages okay this is the people's detail like principal investigator detail and the integration and the development engineer who are involved in the development process as well and uh, this is the feedback so after performing the experiment all the students have to submit our feedback through the feedback form which, which is available under the feedback section okay now back to the list of the experiment and click on the ohm's law when we click on the ohm's law this is the interface of the ohm's law experiment first one is the theory tab second one procedure tab and third one simulation fourth one quizzes and assignment and references so in the references all the book details are available so this is the theory part so in this theory part all the basic information about this uh, experiments are available and you have to clear very clear about your theory because if you don't have a clear your concept so you can't be understand the experimental data as well as, the, as well as the graph between the two quantity in this experiment there are the five objectives are covered first one is the explain the ohm's law second one is the explains ohm's law for the resistance in series third one is the explains Ohm's law for the resistance in parallel fourth one explain non ohmic devices and fifth one major and the confirm the Ohm's law okay so here five objectives will cover in this experiment or which is the Ohm's law so in this video i will only explain only first ex objective explain Ohm's law and for the remaining objectives i will make the next video yeah i will make the more video about the remaining objectives okay so uh, this is the definition about the Ohm's law. The Ohm's law state that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across the two points such as the conductor is characterized by its resistance R measured in Ohm and that is the formula V equals to IR. Here V is the volt, I is the current, voltage is directly proportional to the current V equals to I into R and R is the resistance in Ohm. Okay, this is the basic definition about the Ohm's law and you can read out this definition in uh, this format also this Ohm's law state that the voltage across the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided all the physical conditions and temperature remain same so this is the most important point about this definition that is the you have to remain constant all these things like physical and the temperature conditions when we apply the Ohm's law at any devices okay so this is the main objective about this experiment here the procedure tab here all the procedures are available in this tab and also uh, details specific and details are available about the instrument which is used to performing the experiment so in this experiment we generally use the dc voltage source and emitter and voltmeter and here the dc voltage range about 0 to 30 volt and resistance value 1 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm and other details about the performing the experiments are also available in this procedure tab 
so you have to read carefully all the instructions which are available in the procedure tab because these instructions will help you to perform the experiment when you go to the simulator tab so and this is the simulation tab so here the seven simulation tabs are individually available so and two tabs for only one objective okay because we discussed the five objective in the story section here the two simulator for the one objective like onslow and onslow draw circuit so in onslow uh, only circuits are available okay circuit and the voltmeter are already connected you just uh, perform the experiment and in onslow draw circuit firstly you have to draw the circuit after that you can perform the experiment uh, as per the given instruction so we go to the first one onslow and after that we also performing the experiment from the draw circuit onslow so here a uh, resistance is available and volt voltmeter is also connected in parallel with the resistance and emitter in series and volt uh, voltage source in the series with the resistance and here some controls like dc voltage control and the resistance control so firstly we set the dc and the resistance value at the zero level okay and here the experimental table and this is the graph window okay so here the graph are plotted between the voltage and current and this is the instruction section okay so you have to read out the instruction before performing the experiment okay so first set the resistance value 1 kilo ohm to 100 kilo ohm set the dc voltage 0 to 30 volt voltmeter is placed parallel to resistor and the emitter in series with the resistor now note the voltmeter and emitter reading for dc voltage increase the dc voltage by two factor and note the voltmeter and emitter reading keep resistance value constant and next one plot the vi graph to verify the ohm slope repeat step 2 to 6 to for the another set of the resistance value v versus i graph is straight line and they have Therefore, from the graph we see that the resistance to ohm's law and so the resistance is said to be the ohmic devices. So basically the main objective of this experiment to, to satisfy the, uh, the given devices that is the ohmic or not. Okay, means uh, we apply the ohm's law in a register. So in the end we just uh, confirm that the resistance register is the ohmic device or not. Okay, this is the main objective of this experiment. First of all, we set the resistance value. So in this case, we take the resistance value around 30 ohm. Okay. So we have to fix the resistance value when we move the voltage level and we can move the voltage level from 0 to 30 volt. So here we just move the resistance value for initial stage for 2 volt, uh, wait a minute, 2 volt and take a reading. And in this experiment table, you can see that the readings are added and uh, voltage in the volt and current in the milliampere. Again, we move the voltage level for two point more, like uh, four volt and take a reading. And this is the current value at the voltage level four volt. Again, for six volt. Okay. And this is the current value at the voltage level six volt and for eight volt. So we can repeat this procedure one by one and take a reading as per the given instructions okay and now for 10 volt so like that we take around 7 to 8 readings to performing the experiment and 14 volt we take reading at 14 volt and in this case you can see that we can maintain the difference between the voltage level a uh, 2 volt 4 volt 6 volt 8 volt 10 volt 12 volt and 14 volt okay now we take around 8 readings that is our 8 reading at the current value at the 16 volt okay now this is a graph section and we click on the plot when we click on the plot so here you can see that a graph is plotted between the voltage and current and the graph is the straight line so it means the given device in which we perform the experiment yeah we apply the ohm's law that is the ohmic devices so here it is proved that the resistance is the ohmic device so this is the objective of this experiment okay i think you have clear about that experiment okay now we go to the next section that is the ohm's law draw circuit so here the emitter voltmeter voltage devices are individually available in this web page you firstly you have to connect this uh, device and after that to perform the experiment so firstly we have read out the instruction so here the instructions are available so first instruction for the connection how to make the connection to l1 to l3 l3 to l7 so we just start the to make the connection to l1 to l3 as per the given instruction okay and after that l3 to l7 l3 to l7 then l4 to l5 that is the l4 and that is the l5 we have to connect it both the points l4 to l8 l4 that is the or l4 or that is the l8 okay and l6 to l9 that is the l6 and that is the l9 and now that is the l9 to l12 okay 
I think we make the connection and we have to check the connection that connection is right or not. Okay, so when we click on the check connection, so a message appears that connection is right. Okay, right connection. Now, here uh, voltmeter emitter and DC voltage and resistance, resistance components are available, and we have to start our experiment as per the previous section because in the previous. Uh, simulator we have performed the experiment by varying the DC voltage level okay so we repeat the same procedure to performing the experiment so firstly we set the resistance value at a 30 volt okay so in this case we take the resistance value around 50 ohm so now we take a resistance value at a 50 ohm okay wait a minute I just try to fix the volt resistance value at a 50 ohm okay now we take the resistance value at a 50 ohm and now we just move the DC voltage from 0 to 30 volts. So here, firstly we take our readings at a 4. Okay, when we take a voltage level as 4 and the current value is 0 0.08 milliampere. Okay, so current value in the ampere and voltage value in the volt. Again, we just take a reading at a 7 volt. So here we just uh, take a reading at a random voltage level. Okay, so we take a 7 to 8 reading at a different different voltage level. Okay, so here I take a 7 to 8 reading and now Okay, in this case I take a 9 readings. Okay, now click on the plot and when we click on the plot Here you, key, you can see that the a straight line draw between the voltage and current axis. Okay, so it means the available device in this experiment a available component in this experiment is a ohmic device a ohmic component so in this experiment we justify that the available device a available component in this experiment follow the ohms law okay i hope you like this video and you carefully understand the concept about the ohms law okay in future video i will also cover all the objective about this experiment like explain ohms law for the resistance in series and resistance impeller i will explain both these cases in the next video okay and till now you can like this video share this video and do subscribe my channel okay and if you have any query so you can write us in the comment section okay